So today I got this really interesting case. Um, with this one, we have a patient that's complaining of this really painful left toe and it's red, it's hot, it's swollen. And half the time people think it's gout, but it isn't. And when you look at this toe, you can really see that there's something going on. It's not normal. And a lot of times is the question is, is this ingrown or not? And in reality, it is ingrown. And what has happened is that the back of the nail or the part that's, uh, let's say right here, it has lifted up like a bottle cap. And once the nail lifts up like a bottle cap, it starts to aggravate the skin. And as a result, it's creating this redness. So what do you do about this? You know, you can't, you can't just trim the nail and call it good. You definitely don't want to put any antibiotics or triple antibiotics or anything like that. What really needs to be done is to have that whole nail removed. And the reason why you want to remove it is because the matrix is what produces the nail. So once that nail lifted off, a new one's growing, but because this nail is still there, the body is replicating another one, another, another one. So what you have to do is kind of reset everything and by removing it, and the worst part is the whole process is just that one shot. You remove it, you take it out, you, you get rid of everything that's not attached, so to speak. And that way the redness can go away and then that person can have a, ideally a, a new healthy nail. As I lift that up, that really helps. Here? Just a little bit pain. Okay, what about here? Okay, there is a little pain. Slowly moving in that anesthesia. Right over here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to close my eyes so I don't look at it and yeah. feel more pain. Right. It's just it's sometimes like, oh, something's underneath my toe. I should feel more of it, but it... And we're just looking to make sure, because this just looks like it's just been damaged a lot. I didn't realize it's that bad. Yeah. Really small. It's gotten really worse. Like, last night was really bad. Yeah, because um, eventually what, the, what happens is the body assumes it's a foreign body. And that's what transpired. I was telling her that um, her toes were gripping so that the foot would slide back and forth in that larger shoe and as it was gripping it started to pry it off and that was the deal. So well, she's a seven and a half? Exactly. And yes, until the day she dies her feet will always continue to grow but not that fast. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You know she's so funny. Right. What size are those? Nine. That's why they're going to show you our over-the-counters. That way, regardless of what shoe company style, um, if our inserts fit into a shoe, like they came from them, then that's the right shoe size for you. But if they slide back and forth, which could be the case on that, you have to get something smaller if it bunches up. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you click the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. If there's anything you would like to see more of, comment below. I'm Tom, and toe time is up. And I'll see you guys next time.